Hey guys, so I am back with another message from the Lord. This is not the message that I spoke about yesterday, delivering. That message is still cooking. And the Lord told me that until it is finished cooking, that I'm to just sit on it, let it simmer. And he, uh, as he continues to add on to that message, and then once it's done and he's ready for me to deliver it, I will deliver it. And you guys know me, I don't move ahead of God. Like, I'm really to the point now, I really am listening and I do not move ahead of him. So when he tells me to sit on this for a second, I sit on it. When he tells me to pick up this particular message or word, I'll pick that up. And that's how I move, okay? Never ahead of God. And when he tells me to move, nothing can stop me. So this message that he just gave to me, it's a more recent message that he gave to me. And I'm going to do a quick prayer really quick, okay? So dear Lord, we just bless you this evening, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that whoever this message is for this evening, that it will reach them. Whether it is a month from now or a year from now, Lord God, that it will still help whoever it, whoever it is for. It will still be a help to them, Lord God. Now, Father, I just apply the blood of Jesus over this word. I apply the blood of Jesus over those that are listening. I apply the blood of Jesus over myself. And Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that everything will come out exactly how you would like for it to come out this evening. And we just give praise and glory to you right now. And it's in Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. So I don't know who this message is for, but it's been heavy in my spirit. And I believe it sort of goes in with the other message that I gave yesterday. Okay. Okay. Um, but the Lord is saying to me right now that there are spirits that are out here that are using intimidation in order to stop a lot of you guys. I mean, of course, intimidation and witchcraft and other things in order to try to block and hinder and stop a lot of you guys from going forward. Okay. So I know there was a reason why those messages went out yesterday. Um, but the Lord is saying this to me right now, that there are spirits out here that are trying to li literally stop you guys. Some of you guys who God's hand is upon, uh, who God wants to use in this hour, they're trying to block and stop you and trying to keep your mouth closed. Okay. And the reason as to why they're doing that is because there are a lot of people who are attached to your ministry. They are attached to what it is that God is doing through you. Okay, they're going to come, they're going to find God through what you're doing. And the Lord is saying, if you are not available, or if you are in a place of fear or anxiety or worry, or whatever the case might be, fear of rejection, fear of man, then that's going to stop you from moving forward. And the Lord does not want you to be hindered. He doesn't want you to be hindered because if you're hindered, then you are going to stop others from coming in, okay? Because there's a lot of people in this world, a whole lot of people, and everybody has to be in their positions, in their places, so that when those people, you know, go to looking, they're searching for something. When they go to looking for whatever they're searching for and they stumble across you, you will be in your proper place, able to deliver a word, a message to them in whatever season that they are in that's going to help them cross over or get through whatever it is that they're experiencing or even be saved. So you don't want to be not in your proper position or uh, moving in fear because if that's the case, then a lot of people are going to miss God. And we don't want to be the reason why as to why others are delayed in meeting God or delayed in their deliverance or delayed in getting saved or delayed in repenting. We don't want to be the reasons why those things don't happen for them. OK, so there's a scripture the Lord wants me to read. I think it's a couple of them, but let's go here first. So Genesis 28 and 15. I may read this from a couple of versions here. Let's go with the new international version first. It says, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised. 
Now let's go to the King James Version. And behold, I am with thee and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest and will bring thee again into the land for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee. Okay, so the Lord is saying that he is with you. <clears throat> He's not going to leave you. He has to fulfill what he what, what his promises are over your life. Okay, so he's with you through everything and you need to trust him. You need to have trust in him that uh, no matter where he may take you or who he may bring you um, in front of, that he is with you. He has no plans and no intentions of leaving you. And the fulfillment, the promises that he has made to you, they have to be fulfilled. Okay. <clears throat> so that's something else. That's something else to read. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. So there, there are promises and things that he has made to you guys. God is not going to leave you. Okay. And while you're actively doing the work of the Lord and you are being obedient, being led by the Lord's spirit, God is not going to abandon you. He's not going to put you out here to work for work for him and abandon you. Okay. Um, let's see. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> James 1 and 8, reading from the King James Bible version. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, says the Lord. So the Lord is with thee. He's with you guys. Um, he doesn't want you to be afraid of anyone's faces, okay? There's another scripture. Hold on one minute. <clears throat> He's just downloading scriptures while I'm on, while I'm actually on here right now. They're not, they're fresh, just fresh off the press. He's just downloading them right this moment. <clears throat> okay, so Luke twelve twelve reads, uh, For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what you ought to say. And that's in the King James Version. In the New International Version, it reads, For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that hour what you should say. So there should be no concern of yours on what you're going to say. What word, what, because the Lord will, when he, when he brings you in front of the people that he's going to bring you in front of, in that very moment, in that very hour, he will give you the words to speak. Okay. And they will not be your words. They will be the words that the Lord places into your spirit. Okay. Um, God really is just pressing on me right now that he does not want you guys to fear. He does not want you to fear man. Okay. Um, you really have to come from out of that, uh, having that spirit of fear. Um, that's another one. <laughs> I hear you, Lord. Um, I hear you. He just said, just go to it. Second Timothy one and seven. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay, so God gives you the, uh, God has not given you that spirit. He is giving you the spirit, the, um, 
excuse me, I'm getting tongue-tied tongue -tied again. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So while you're doing the work that you're doing for God, he's giving you a sound mind. Okay. He is not giving you the spirit of fear. Okay. And the only way you can do his work is to have a sound mind, to have a sound mind. Uh, don't be afraid of people and whether or not they, uh, receive what you're speaking or what you're saying or not. Uh, that is not your place to be concerned about that. You need to be concerned about being obedient to God and, um, you know, God being, uh, happy about the work that you're doing. That's what you need to be, you know, focusing on is God, uh, does God love the work that you're doing? Is God doing this? Is he pushing you to do this? Because if God is pushing you to do this, you best believe he loves what you're doing. And as long as you have his stamp of approval, then looking for others approval, is really not necessary. Okay. And I spoke on that briefly yesterday too. So I guess God has a, um, has those two kind of merging, combining this evening for this particular message. But he just wants you guys to be aware that there is some spirits out here. Uh, they're using whatever they're using. They're using witchcraft. They're doing spells. They're using your pictures, all these sorts of things to try to keep you guys to be quiet. Okay, so you have to pray against these things. Uh, cancel these uh, things that they're speaking concerning you uh, and whatever so that you are able to move forward in what God has told you and called you to do. Because as I stated earlier, God is not going to leave you until the promises are fulfilled in your life. So on that, I'm getting ready to get off of here with this message. But before I go, I'm going to do another quick prayer, okay? So dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the listeners of this message this evening. I thank you that this message is making it to the ones that it needs to message, uh, I mean, that it needs to reach, Lord God. I pray that it would be an encouragement to those who hear it, Lord God. I pray in the name of Jesus that they will come out of uh, whatever spirit of fear, anxiety, or whatever that may be going on in them that will cause them to kind of stand back and not move forward in what you called them to do. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just cancel every work and assignment of the devil on this evening, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, wherever anyone is using anyone's pictures, wherever someone is speaking death to another individual's purpose, wherever someone is uh, speaking evil concerning another man or woman's life, uh, as it pertains to their purpose, their destiny, and their family, we cancel all of those evil words right now in the mighty name of Jesus, and we apply the blood of Jesus over our future, over our destinies, over our purpose, over our families, over those things that you have called us to, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and we rebuke every distraction, and we rebuke every lie of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. And we give all the praise and glory to you right now, God, for allowing us to come together and to even be able to um, pray together. And I thank you right now for using me to deliver this message to your people today. Father, we give all praise and glory to you right now uh, for this time that we've had together. And it's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I don't know why, guys. It was like the scripture was coming, dry, popping in my spirit while I was praying. Like, oh my gosh, guys, I don't know. <laughs> it just popped in like, boom, just, um, whoo, and, oh my God, help me, Jesus. Um, one minute, guys, before I get off of here, one minute. Um, there it goes. There it goes. Wow. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Let's see. I never really, sometimes I use NIV and then, you know, it just depends, but let me see. Maybe I can find. Mm.
I'm sorry guys. I'm just trying to get it up again. Hold on. It wouldn't let me change it. Okay, listen, I'm just going to read it in the NIV. And if you guys want, you can go back and read it in another version. Okay, so 2 Corinthians, before we go here, 2 Corinthians 10 and 5. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So I don't know who need to hear that scripture, but it just, I'm telling you guys, God was throwing these scriptures out like hotcakes right now. Um, it's for somebody. Read it again. He says, we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So we have to take these thoughts captive, that these thoughts and things that, uh, that are not of God and make those things, make those thoughts obedient to Christ. Okay. We have to pray, pray against, uh, what others are doing or what's going on, what's going on in the spirit that's trying to stop or block you from moving in what God called you to do. So I'm gone on that note, guys. This is already longer than what I want it to be. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you guys for commenting always. I do appreciate your likes. I do appreciate you uh, listening to my messages. I do appreciate you overall. I love you guys with the love of Christ. And I'll catch you guys on the next message. Take care.